Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Record to these true scary story animations. We got a few that we're gonna check out in today's episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First video of today's episode is called True Our Home Alone Story. It's from Juan C Entertainment. Let's see how home alone they actually are. And let me try not to talk over the dialogue My name too is much. Jessica, oh, let me shut up. And I was eight at the time this occurred. I was the youngest and the only girl, so my older brother Hunter was taking care of me. At the time, I know Hunter I'm weird. Was 14, I'm weird. And we had to stay home attention. while my parents went to the bar with their friends and my older brothers. Hey guys. Since they were much older than us. Our house was in the middle of the woods, and our closest neighbor was maybe half a mile away. Oh yeah, you're gonna die. My brother and I stayed up watching TV shows until 2 in the morning. We finished watching an episode of Full House. Full House? Man, you definitely gotta get killed for that one. We heard a very big crash upstairs in my brother full Josh's house? room. Gotta be a Full we House of Robbers in a second. A moment. Full House then of Ghosts. my brother got up and grabbed one of the kitchen knives the knife and told me to come upstairs with him. And your life will... Just in case there was something. Let me stop, in the guys. House, I don't know what's going on. And with me. he didn't want me to be left alone. My brother is a brave guy and doesn't get scared easily. Man, I'll say it to your face right now. Even with a knife in your hand, you're a pussy. So right now, he wasn't very consumed of fear like He's I. He's not gonna was. do anything with that knife. I follow my brother up the stairs, and he then came to a halt, which made me bump into him. <clears throat> Might as well stab yourself with that knife. Save yourself the trouble. In silence. Just what? standing there. Who there? Who there? I got antsy and asked him what was wrong. He then said, I should have grabbed the, the gun phone and call 911. Me being confused, I looked to see what was in front of only him to make him ask me this. Who's it? And there stood a white man, about 6'3, with dark brown hair and bloodshot eyes. Oh, yeah, you freaking bum? I, I told you in the face. That he to come with me because That's I what I'll do no to you. I don't need no knife. Doing. Got these guns in my I hand. Grabbed Hunter's hand. Blah, blah, blah. Ran downstairs. Come and on now. The house phone. The down nine one one. We dashed into the bathroom in and locked the door. I could hear the footsteps of the man slowly walking down the stairs. I could hear my brother on the phone with the police behind me. I was fixated on the footsteps, which got closer and closer to the bathroom door. It was silent, as I could no longer hear my brother on the phone. Where did he even come footsteps. from? Just drop down from the when sky? All that made me with his bum from ass. Fixation was the loud pounding of the bathroom door. I screamed in fright. For the man was I'm at hungry the door <laughs> and I'm stinky. He stopped for a moment, <laughs> and I could hear his deep, harsh breathing. Oh, he got that hot breath too. He then whispers. I know them shits haven't been brushed. I'm not gonna hurt you. All I want to do is give you kids some sweets. Bruh. I just want to give you kids some sweets with the sharpest knife in the shit. Boy, this guy. <laughs> My brother then yelled, We don't want any of your damn sweets. I really? could tell my brother was getting angrier by the second. Oh, what are you gonna do about it, pussy boy? And then the door handle starts to shake very fast and frequently. Oh yeah? We back away from the door oh, yeah? and by the window. Shake very fast, yeah? the room from the door. My brother opened it just in case we would need to escape this way before the police Okay, bro. Here. See you, bro, bro. The man punches through the door and starts to grab for the handle. Bro, where did that man... What the... Okay, I just paused it right here. And this man is just trying to Superman outside the house. He's dead. Like, I'm gonna press play and he's dead. We jumped. Oh, Jesus! The, 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 the sister too? She's gonna land on her feet and shatter both of her kneecaps. And What's wrong with these kids? Grass, and we sprinted to the woods. There's no way that happened. We found this you big broke so many bones. to hide behind. We crouched down and waited for something to happen. A few seconds later, we heard police sirens Bro, in the distance. Running, we saw the man from the window run down bit. the stairs and out of the front door. Not stop. I would not he stop. He ran into the woods and ran past us. Thank God he didn't notice us there. The police pulled into our driveway and we saw a chance to run to them. We dashed to them and told the police he was in the woods. Imagine if the cops shot them they as they're coming out the woods. And once they came, I mean that's not funny, but yeah, it's funny. In their he clutches. Oh, shit, shit. I've never been more relieved in my life. We stayed at the house with a police officer until my parents and older brothers arrived home. Cool, cool. That's cute. Two that's days hot. later, 
the police had found our neighbors murdered <gasps> and that the man was on a killing spree and we were about to be next. Bro. I am now 13 they accepted and the still candy. have nightmares of that time. Damn it. Hunter moved out and my parents moved to the city so we wouldn't live so His far His name was Hunter? Should have called him Hyder hiding in the bathroom. I would have used that knife, man. I would have just went. <laughs> I don't know if this next one is scary, but it comes from one of my favorite cartoons of all time when I was a kid. This one's called Helga the Bully. It's Arnold. Oh, my love. My sweet, my precious. God, how I wish I could tell him how I feel. <laughs> what the heck? Mother football head. <laughs> Helga, why would you do that? He, he was in my way. In your way. We were waiting for his grandpa to get his medicine. He's sick, Helga. He's sick. I... I didn't know he was sick. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> he's... He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> what seems to be the problem here? She killed Arnold. I didn't <laughs> know he was so sick. I love him. You what have to this? understand. I have a shrine to him in my room. Please. <laughs> you rotten fuck. You killed Arnold. It was an accident. It was an accident. You're coming with me, you rotten bitch. And you're oh, going God. away for a long time. No, please, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Hell good, no. <laughs> Next video of today's episode is called I Met a Guy on Instagram Who Squeezed Me to Death. If he squeezed you to death, then how you here? How you here to tell the story? This man should be on the run squeezing somebody else, probably on TikTok. But he squeezed you to death. We're going to figure out how he did it. Let's do this, guys. This happened when I was at college. Studying acting. Yeah, guys, this happened. Oh, she I studies acting. Oh, doing yoga, Plot tennis, and most of all, running. My favorite places to run were on the beach and in the woods as I loved nature and being alone. Stay running in your mouth. You got a gold medal all in that. my friends had boyfriends, and I was single at the time, so I felt a little lonely. Single, day, ready to get after strangled. After I logged onto Instagram and saw that someone had sent me a message, I ABB checked out his girl, profile. girl, you up? His name was Mason. Mason, you ain't my According Mason. According to his bio, he was a football player at a college near mine. His photos consisted of I him love playing big football, hug. hanging with his friends, and he All had right. a muscular build. Muscular boy. Eventually, I decided to accept his request, but I just ignored lots of DMs from him and went about my day. <laughs> Later at lunch, my friends pushed me to start a conversation with Mason, and I did. And turns out we got along with each other well. We talked about fitness, movies, books, and college, a lot of common things. I told him about running in the woods and on the beach. Why would you tell him about that? I was He's cute like, and had a good body. <laughs> he had also asked me if we could meet sometime. I'm sorry. He seemed nice, but I was unsure. Good. She has a good head on her a shoulders. A couple of days later, I went out for a run around 6 in the morning. Although it was an early morning, outside it was really hot, so I wore a sports crop top and shorts. Okay, I was we didn't confident ask. with my body We didn't anyway. ask to show your outfit of the day. As I went outside, I noticed there was a black car parked outside. I looked closer and could see someone looking at me. Whoa! And when I left the woods at the same place where I went in, I noticed the same black car was parked nearby. Oh, that's actually creepy. I was scared. Give me the chills. I started running back to my dormitory. Okay, you say bolts? I looked back, I noticed the car wasn't following that me. She was going, she was like, I calmed down a little bit and thought God, maybe that man. wasn't the same car. When I went back to my dorm, the black car wasn't there and I felt safe. She gotta stay strapped. I had a shower, changed, and got ready for the first lesson. I checked Instagram and Mason. saw that Mason had messaged My me. Guy. He told me he wanted to wrestle me. I thought nothing you of it do the and just mambo? texted back, sounds fun, sounds fun, with a winky face. Oh. As I was just <laughs> about to leave my dorm for the first he lesson, went. he messaged me again, asking to meet me at his dorm at his college and that he wanted to meet me because he loved me. I felt bad as I wasn't interested in a relationship. Yeah. I sent him a message back telling him that I wasn't interested in it and just wanted to stay friends. She's straight up. She's honest. You Throughout gotta the clap rest for that. Day, you gotta respect Mason it. Didn't message you got me to. Back. I started to feel bad, but I thought I'd wait a couple of days to message him back to ask if he was okay. The next morning, I went for my daily run. I put on my crop top and shorts oh, no. and went outside. 
The black car wasn't around at my dorm and neither was it outside the woods, so I felt safe. I ran through the woods. It was hot and I had already run quite a bit. I ran along this trail and no one was around me. That was until a figure jumped out from behind a tree, a meter in front of me, shouting, Surprise! Oh my god! It was Mason. I, I saw it coming. I knew it was coming. How he found but me. Mason is coming. He said that he became impatient and just wanted to meet me. He had parked his car nearby. So we could go on a date, he said. Yeah, that's not creepy I'm at all, sure Mason. It was the same That'll win her heart. Before. That'll make her fall in love, too. I'm pretty nervous. I told him it was a little weird to just surprise me like it's this. It's a lot of weird. But he ignored me and it's a walked lot. up close it's to me. It's a lot me. to handle. It's a lot to take in. He told me I was so pretty and he touched my cheek. Oh, come on, man. I felt uncomfortable and told him, sorry, Mason. You're a nice guy, but I'm not interested in a relationship. I tried to push him away, telling him to leave me alone. And that's when he wrapped his arms around my waist and started squeezing me. He was very strong and it was so tight, it hurt a lot. Is he gonna squeeze you to death? I told him to get off of me. If and not, we've been clickbaited. We've been bamboozled. But he was so much stronger than me. Dude, he's huge. He <laughs> squeezed much tighter. I was in pain and couldn't breathe. I couldn't even shout for help. Holy crap, that Mason is scary. He started trying to kiss and even lick me as he was crushing what the me. I kept on struggling. Eventually, I felt myself passing out as I was dizzy and started to black out. That man wanted a taste. In he was like, I bit down on Mason's nose and scratched at his eyes. Nice. He said, Let go of me, bitch. Oh. And pushed me down as he You were the one squeezing her. As you I let got go my of me. Back, I got up and started sprinting out of the woods. Finally, I got to college and told my friends what happened, and then explained it to the police. I wanted to press charges and a restraining order on him. They told me they'll investigate it as soon as possible. I blocked Mason on Instagram as well as Twitter and Facebook. Should have done that from he the get go, but either, but I you know, blocked what's him done just is done. in case. The next time I heard about Mason was after his trial. It turns out that he was kicked out of his college for assaulting another girl a month before. The police also found out he had planned on kidnapping me as he had a notebook about me and what he wanted to do with me and other women, which includes some of the vilest things. How he wanted to kill women in several different ways and violate the bodies. That's how some people just get he satisfaction wrote at by doing about weird how things he wanted to people to like that. A woman to death with his arms. I threw up when I found out. Though it may sound unlikely, it is possible to murder someone by squeezing them hard and long enough, oh yeah, preventing for sure. them from breathing and breathe. causing asphyxiation. Considering how strong he was and how small I am, I'm certain he could have killed me. As far as I know, he's still in prison or in a mental institution. Good riddance. Yeah. After what happened, I started training in martial oh, arts see? and started she lifting weights. I've never spoken to people I don't know on social media, and I you never guys went don't into be the doing woods that. alone again. Very mad. Sometimes I still think about what happened to me and how it could have ended differently. I do not doubt that Mason could have squeezed me to death. What I want to know is what he would have done with me afterwards. Damn. Okay, that woke me up. I mean, I was already woken up, but shit, you woke up the whole entire system. The whole nervous system just went like that. Last video of today's episode is called Woman in the Purple Dress. Ooh. Pretty sure it's gonna be like a haunted ghost. Don't look at her. She's probably cursed a type few of story. Years ago, Let's see if I'm right. Me and my family went on our yearly holiday to Madeira, which Madeira, is the birthplace the is of my parents. Who's that? It was pretty normal for us to go annually, as our grandparents were living there. We would sleep in one of our grandparents' home, and during the day, we would go to festivals. She's getting it. If What's you do Madeira? not know much about Madeira, what is then Madeira? This story where is that? Hold on, hold on, guys. We gotta figure out where Madeira is so we can understand the story a little bit better. Okay, there's no way that Madeira is in California because that did not look like no California dances. Here we go, Madeira, an autonomous region of Portugal. Okay, so it's in Portugal, guys. Everybody, just remember that, and then we can now. I don't even know how that was relevant to the story, but I just want to know where Madeira was. It's not that a physical thing occurred that holiday. 
It was just this nightmare that became very real for me as a child. You guys know it's real when as I'm rubbing the little chinny chin pubes on my head. I was staying at my grandparents' head. house while in Madeira. I had a room to myself on the upper floor. What are those dolls? It was pretty creepy since my grandmother loved Ooh. Victorian style dolls. Once I was able to fall asleep, I had a creepy dream that I can't forget. Tell us. I right woke now. up and from my bed I could hear movement on the floor. I looked down to see that the floor was covered in black insects just crawling around. I could not see the almond brown wood floorboards and began to yell for help. Someone opened my door and I saw my little brother come in, but behind him was a woman in a hideous purple Whoa. dress. I never saw this woman before, Whoa. but before my brother even had, like, came closer like to that, me, they're smiling. I saw the woman force her hand into his back and tear out his heart. I remember screaming in the dream and all the woman said was, your parents aren't here. And I woke up. <gasps> I was so scared that I went into the next room where my brother should have been asleep. But because it was dark, I couldn't see him. Well, I, I was a dumb kid. Guys? My anxiety level rose even higher. I ran oh. out, went downstairs, and none of my parents <laughs> were around. That was dope. That was so fast to animation. Panic more because of what that lady in my dreams said, and I started to cry even more. I've had dreams where I woke up crying, crying because it's so damn good. Like I was, I've had some dreams, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've, I've had some dreams. I woke up crying. I was like, I can't believe that was just a dream. But I've had some dreams, guys. Like, just letting you know right now. I have cried when I've woken up from dreams. Then I heard my older brother call my name from up the stairs. Hey. The stairs I just ran down. I told him I had a bad dream, and he stayed in my room. After showing me that my little brother was snoring away in his bed. He got some asshole lips. The next lips. morning, my brother told my that? parents was how with I those behaved. Big ass inflamed so lips. my mother asked Get that me checked what out. happened. It's not normal. I told her about the dream with the lady in the hideous purple dress. My mother's face became serious, and she looked worried. I didn't know why, since that was unusual for her. About two years later, I was going through my parents' wedding album in our home in Madeira. While Madeira, it's in Portugal, guys. The top See, floor we learned something today. Brother, Unless you knew that, then shut up. Stop acting like you're smarter than everybody else. was ripped in half. I thought it was unusual. So I began looking through to see where the other That's half was. That's also not normal. It wasn't in the album. I brushed it off. <laughs> About an hour later, I was going through one of the drawers in the living room cabinet. I saw this picture of a woman in a purple dress. She looked almost identical to the woman in my dream. It was the same dress. Yikes. I began to get goosebumps, <laughs> so I put the album on top Bro, why is this giving me the chills? I hate when they the have those long the ass faces. Picture. I began to shiver once the tear of both pictures fit perfectly mm -mm. well together. Mm -mm. With worry, I began to ask my mother who was the in the bat. image. I'm shattering her All legs. All I know to this day is that she is perceived as a witch She's and a witch. fled with my maternal uncle from Madeira. Soon after, the whole community why? began to believe Why that face? This is possibly all just a coincidence, but it does send a shiver down my spine. Me too, girl. I've never met this woman, but she appeared in my dreams. Shiver down my spine. I have no idea on whether or not I will forget the specific details of that dream, especially since I found out more about this woman, who is my aunt-in-law. Pizza! Bro! How you gonna be mad? She brought some pizza. No, but for real though, I'm one of those guys where if I have a dream, sometimes I'll look it up. Like if I have a dream about spiders, I'll wake up and I'll be like, what does dreaming about spiders mean? Like for example, to dream of seeing a spider indicates you may have anxieties about life. This is truly a fear type dream. Perhaps you are concerned about a situation in waking life and feeling trapped. Or the positive side, the dream of a spider means that creativity is your weapon to move on in life. Like sometimes, yeah, when I have dreams of specific things and I can remember it, 
I'll look it up real quick. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but let's see what it says if somebody dreams about a witch. Because the girl in the purple dress was a witch, right? So let's see. Dreams about a witch. When you dream of just seeing a witch, it can mean several things, but most of all, it will denote that you are going to experience good luck and experience being rather happy in the days to come. When at work, you may be able to gain more results than expected, and this will make your boss happy with you, and in the process, you might end up earning a promotion. Okay, that did not turn out how I expected it to when I was thinking what happens when you dream about a witch, but okay. Alright guys, but that's gonna do it for this episode of reacting to these true scary story animations. If you guys want me to react to any more scary animations on the internet, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that DUDE!